Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing a pretty different review, though I think it still fits thematically with my channel. Today we're taking a look at the Megablox Plasma Tech Roy V? Roy 5? I'll be honest, I've never heard it spoken out loud, so I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm just gonna call it Roy. But yeah, this is, I think, the main character from their Plasma Tech line, and uh, Look, it's just a really cool robot. Let's just go with that. Anyway, let's just get into the review by taking a look at the articulation. Yeah, this is going to be pretty short. The head is on a ball joint into the chest, which means it gets decent wiggle room and a full rotation. The shoulders are ball jointed for a decent amount of range. And the hips are ball jointed, again, for a decent amount of range and that's it <laughs> not a lot going on with this now as for accessories and gimmicks uh, I have to be transparent I can't find batteries for this uh, not locally anyway and I don't really want to order them online especially since they're so small it's not really worth it basically if you press in on these on the back little green LED right here in the chest lights up, it's not really that impressive, and honestly it pretty much only lights up this area, so... Yeah, a little underwhelming, you're not missing much. But aside from that, you do get the rifle, which can be clipped on either hand, and also has two holes, meaning it can be stored on those back pegs. Uh, granted, if you do store it on the back, it ends up looking a little bit silly. Just with how big it is, but hey, it is still a very cool robot. And of course, as you saw in the opening, it comes in this sort of uh, drop pod thing. Now, originally it was sort of held in and you could press in on the back to show off the light up gimmick. Uh, that said, I do really like the design of this thing and the fact that it has a little bit of paint on it really ties it together. I'm glad I kept it. And as for a size comparison, yeah, these guys really weren't that big. They clock in at just about 90 millimeters. So yeah, to wrap this review up, uh, definitely a short one, huh? I pretty much just wanted to show off the cool little robot toy I had when I was younger, and also the fact that, yeah, despite not having a lot of articulation and being fairly cheap, the design team on this thing went really hard. This is a stupidly cool robot design. Like, there was no reason to make these things look as cool as they do. <laughs> anyway, if uh, if you want to get one of these, your best bet is probably eBay on, at this point, to be honest. Uh, these are like, what, 15, 16 years old at this point? Yeah, you're not exactly going to be finding them in stores. But anyway, that's been all for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Subscribe for future reviews and watch my backlog. Go follow me on Twitter for updates, and consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep bringing you reviews, just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.